Good morning, everybody, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm Chris, uh, the Blind Wood Turner, and welcome to the workshop. So, I've taken a while to line the camera up, so hopefully we should be in frame. So, good morning, everybody. So, uh, right, what we're doing today, it's something I've been listening to uh, on YouTube with very keen interest. And I thought, wow, that sounds fun and effective and quite simple. So I thought I would give it a blast today for you guys. So, uh, what do I need to say? Yeah, first of all, thank you so very much to everybody that's been subscribing of late. Much appreciated. And also thank you to all my current subscribers. Uh, so, this video uh, is how simple it is really to electro etch steel with just a a few items really a few pieces of kit so what i'm going to do really is go through the the process methodically uh, so the first process will be uh, obviously selecting your work piece in this case it's a scrap piece of steel uh, that i'm going to etch uh, so the first process would be to clean this steel up. So uh, there's a, I, I, I just sort of like had a, had a start on it, and there's still some rust and scale on there. So basically, I've got a, a mostly worn uh, Rolock disc on here. So this is what it was really developed for this tool. So if I have a feel on there, so. We're just cleaning the scale. Very quick and effective. And I won't be working on this back side, but I'll give it a clean anyway. Just do it. So there you have it, that uh, that piece of steel has been uh, cleaned very uh, quickly with that 3M Rolock. So it's very important that your steel, I'm just going to take my, uh, my wedding ring off, just put it in my pocket. It's very important that the clean is very, uh, the steel is very clean. So initially now what I'm going to do is put on some latex gloves there's lots and lots of videos on youtube for this uh, and obviously people are etching swords and uh, knives all sorts of stuff and what i want to do is just show you how i do it obviously being blind and it's another process so i'm sharing with you uh, again how you know, I I uh, teach myself a process after listening to YouTube for hundreds of hours. So uh, I've got some thinners here on a rag. So I'm giving it a good wipe. Again, I'll do both sides to degrease it. You can use brake cleaner. Some people use acetone and uh, wire wool and so. I'm using thinners to make sure that's totally clean. Feel for the cap, I've got the cap there. So I can just put them out of the way. So now that that's clean, obviously depending on what design you wanted to do, you need to really uh, mask areas off. Now, the areas that are mask off will become what's known as your resist. So it will resist the electro etching process. So you can use, people use uh, vinyl 
and they uh, they cut them out on vinyl cutting machines so you can do logos really intricate designs people use uh, pre-bought uh, pre-manufactured sorry uh, vinyl stencils uh, and the method I'm going to use just because it's quick and easy for this demo is I've got some duct tape so I pull off just have a, a rudimentary feel of make sure I've got it long enough in fact I'll take these rubber gloves off now because that duct tape will stick to them gloves so let me just feel for where I am here now and place that over the steel and I've given it a good a good rub there so I can fold over that edge make sure it's pressed firmly down and I'm just going to trim off this end to uh, make sure I've got some exposed steel for the connections so that's there make that now I'm just going to do a very very simple uh, pattern on here so I just feel for where I need to start and I am just doing a wiggly pattern now if I feel and I'll need my hook tool here now to feel that so if I roughly do a squiggly line down the other side and then if I feel with my hook tool and there we have it so again now just I'm going to put the rubber gloves on now he says oh my god it's, it's killing me this I'm losing the will to live anyway that'll do so let's just get that knife out of the way safely so uh, that was around here so that's cool oh yeah and as I'm working I'll be just telling you a couple of things that are, uh, that are happening uh, I am confirmed uh, at Maker Central uh, on the Axminster stand so I'm just wiping now because there might have been some adhesive left from the duct tape so I'm wiping that now with thinners because we want this really, really clean for the etching. So that's that. So yeah, I'm on the Axminster stand all weekend at uh, Maker Central. So I'll be hanging out uh, with the, the amazing Colwyn and Craig Steele. Uh, and I don't know if Jason from Axminster is going to. He's a cool guy as well. All master craftsmen. Uh, and they've been trained the traditional way through uh, many, many years of college apprenticeships and, and things like that. So, yeah, I'm hanging out there, so come and check it out. Uh, a big shout-out for Maker Central this year. Uh, please, please come along, not just to see me, but to meet all of your your heroes and your friends and hang out and be amazed and inspired. So a big shout-out to Nick Zametti uh, and his team for putting on Maker Central again. Uh, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. So can't wait. Uh, it's one of the high points of the year. Of course it is. I mean, flipping heck. It's not like a kid in a candy shop, isn't it? So, 
Right, so that's really, really clean now. So let me just move some of these items out of the way. And also, folks, big shout out to somebody I met at Maker Central last year, uh, Chad, that has man crafting. Now, Chad has amazingly made me. Now, we've done a Facebook post for this. Uh, he's done, I don't know if you can see it, he's done me one of his famous uh, powder coated branded mugs for me, obviously with the blind wood turner logo. So thank you so very much Chad, I love using it, it works so well uh, and it holds plenty of tea which is always good. Uh, and thank you also to Jamie uh, from JP Woodworks who was instrumental in getting this uh, made and posted to me. So thank you very much Chad over in the States. Uh, and Jamie as well. Thank you so very much. Uh, it's absolutely wonderful. It's a wonderful gift. Can't thank you enough. Right, so on to the next stage. And I will explain now the kit we're going to use. Okay. So what we have here is an old, uh, not a modern digital battery charger. But uh, an oldie worldy one. Uh, apparently, I've heard that the modern digital ones can keep cutting out uh, and uh, they make the process uh, very difficult. So, get an, an old battery charger. And if you haven't got an old battery charger, you can use uh, a battery, a 9 volt battery. And obviously, you connect uh, one end of your uh, alligator clips, one to the positive on the battery, one to the negative and then you'll use these as I will describe in a minute. So I've got a battery charger there folks. So let me just make sure that's out of the way. And how do I know what's the positive and what's the negative on this rascal? I'll explain after I'd worked it out the other day. The positive, simple thing that I do being blind is I put a huge flipping tactile doodad that's just a load of tape on there so I know straight away that's uh, positivo so other one is negative so it's an old 12 volt and it's switchable between 6 volt and 12 volt uh, battery charger and in here I have got a pre-made solution in this pot it says can you get the lid off a pre-made solution of salt water and a, a splash of distilled vinegar. I don't know if it being distilled, uh, distilled white vinegar makes any difference. It's what we had. So, uh, yeah, I put some water in this pot and then I put as much salt as it could take. Uh, almost, uh, uh, well, it was a mound uh, and then I just kept adding more until it couldn't really dissolve anymore. So it's a heavy, heavy salt solution uh, with some vinegar. And that's simple. So, in a way, quite organic. So you've got that. And then, I've got here, just basically a bit, people have been using cotton buds, uh, which the, the negative just holds the cotton bud. But the, the clamp has to be in contact with the salt solution. I've got here a, a, a metal bolt and it's got an old dishcloth just wrapped around it. That's pretty cool. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open the workshop back door, just get a bit of uh, circulation. Uh, obviously do it in a well ventilated area uh, and uh, for, uh, wear, wear dust mask if, if you can uh, and respirators uh, just you know make sure that your PPE is up to scratch I certainly wouldn't do it indoors in the house because there are some fumes that come off and it's a mixture of obviously uh, vinegar and melting steel and things but for the purpose of this demo uh, and it's not sort of like a long project uh, will be okay so I am just going to now clamp the negative to the the bolt with the old dishcloth around it 
and then I need to make yeah just double check that's the positive and then you connect the positive to the workpiece so everything's going great going so far take these latex gloves off get some tissue paper so I hope you're following me so far got a piece of steel that we've cleaned uh, made a, a duct tape uh, design on there and obviously where the duct tape is that's not going to be affected the bare steel is going to be etched and it will be etched permanently so that's all lovely I'm just going to put some other just work gloves on now just in case I don't see what I'm doing and I bang something I shouldn't bang and get a bit of a, a jolt you won't get much I don't think because it's only 12 volts but right so what we are going to do now is if I feel for the plug and that is now plugged in so what I need to do is feel I'm dipping that cloth in the salt solution got some tissue there don't need that old rangy piece so all being well feel for where it is now straight away I can hear bubbling I can feel fizzing and I can smell the etching process taking place <coughs> so let's just dip it back in feel for where I am so you feel and hear and smell the process so this the salt and vinegar solution is eating into the steel permanently and I can just wipe that portion clear there now so I hope you can see there should be some discoloration according to what people say on this cloth And also I can hear the the needle, the indicator on the battery charger twitching as well. And the longer you leave it on, the deeper you will etch. So again, uh, the purpose of my, this demonstration, me doing it, is you know to inspire you guys. For someone that think, wow, flipping heck, you know, I could really use that. And you know, I've always wanted to make a knife, or I've always wanted to uh, etch things. You know, there's again, there's nothing stopping you. You know, do it. Yeah, I'm proving here now. It's simple. You know, ten minutes. You know, and you're up and running with some very basic supplies. And you get amazing effects. Obviously, you know, I'm just in my infancy with this and it's another it's another string to my bow. It's another process that I've learned, even though I'm blind. And I, I think it's lots of fun and the possibilities are endless. You know, you could do uh little tags for your keys you could do uh, plates there is a different method it's not like the immersion etching method 
which is easy as well, but you would fill a big tub uh, with saline solution. Again, make sure that the workpiece is masked up accordingly and very well. Uh, and then the positive obviously is connected to your workpiece and the negative is connected to a sacrificial piece of steel in the tub and you leave it, I'd probably leave it on six volts for a couple of hours and it eats away uh, everything that isn't masked up uh, and apparently the effects of that for doing you know workshop signs and oh it's just amazing the stuff I've been listening to so I'll just do one more pass along its length. And I'll just, in fact, I'm just going to clip this onto six volts. And it's still working, it's still etching. I can still smell it feel it, hear it, hear the indicator on the scale. And you know, can you see the the piece of cloth there? And obviously if you know if this piece of cloth became I think I've heard some people that you know they actually save these and wash them. Uh, but certainly, you know, you would just discard this and if it gets that gummed up, just discard it and put a Put a fresh piece on. And I think that that, that cotton has uh, just sort of dissolved on me, so I'll unplug that, which is cool. bit warm but not massively hot so what I'm going to do now is if I get I'll show you another popular way of doing it uh, let's have a feel cotton bud q-tip if you're in the States we'll soak that in the solution make sure we're gripping that in fact just get it soaked let's plug it back in so this is this would be good for some detail work, a Q-tip, I suppose. And then turn that up. Add that on very good. Like that now. Yeah, it's working now. I just didn't have a good grip of the the cotton bud. But again now it's fizzing. It's working like a champ. This will be my final pass. <laughs> and you can dip it in that saline solution quite safe. And I'm following the the outside. So it's good for me. I can feel the outside edge of the cool. Right, so obviously I was taking my time with that because I can't see what I'm doing, uh, but it just goes to show 
how relatively easy that process is. So, all being well now, I hope you're getting that folks, uh, and this, this piece of steel uh, has got some warmth into it, but it's not hot, certainly not hot. So, what we're going to do now, is remove the masking so I hope you're getting that and what I'm going to do now you can feel with your thumbnail there is a ridge there a definite ridge with your thumbnail so I know that it's eaten into that steel so Let's give her a clean up now. Not too much. And hopefully you guys are seeing that. I can feel it. So I'm sure you can see it. And if I just take this off. Now. I hope you're getting that. So, yeah, although that cleaning process has just knocked that edge down a bit, uh, but that was just a, a quick demonstration and also uh, if I was, let's say, you know, I was making uh, a small sword or, you know, a dagger, a knife, whatever, you know, obviously I would possibly go a bit a bit deeper so you just hold it on for longer and take more time uh, but yeah definite not be seeing that so there is a piece of steel that has been etched uh, with a battery charger salty water uh, And a bit of cloth or, or a cotton bud q-tip so there you have it electro etching quick and easy so uh, experiment with it folks uh, you know the costs are minimal uh, you get great effects you can be very creative you know uh, and it's definitely one to keep in your arsenal another string to your bow so there you go so obviously I, I'm, I'm sure I've got a lot more to learn a lot more practice but again if a blind guy can do it you guys have got no problem so uh, I just thought I'd share that with you guys so I hope you found it interesting I hope you're inspired uh, to give it a go and you want to have lots of fun uh, and check out some great videos so I'll give a shout out to uh, I think I think the guy oh what's he called I can't remember I can't remember sorry about that but there's lots and lots of videos on YouTube obviously about electro etching using you know 9 volt batteries you know old car batteries old motorcycle batteries battery chargers lots of different ways that you can get the power supply uh, and it's safe and easy just make sure that you're in a well ventilated area because it does give off some salty fumes and obviously the steel that's been eaten away is obviously you know coming off as a gas so yeah but there you go folks I can get very medieval I'm feeling all medieval and viking-esque so anyway that's it folks thank you so very much 
I'm going to sign off now. So easy peasy, give it a go. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to hit the little bell symbol. Uh, I'm sorry it's been so long, but been busy and Nicola's been very busy. Uh, so anyway, hope to meet many of you at Maker Central uh, and at the demos that I'm doing for Axminster and Wood Turning Clubs. So anyway, keep on turning everybody. Thanks a lot.